Hello everyone, my name is R from FTC Team RoboStars. Today I will be showing you how to calculate the number of encoder positions needed to go a number of inches. To start off, you will select a number of inches. I will just select 40. This is the beginning of my equation. After that, you need to find the circumference of your wheel. This can be taken by multiplying the diameter times pi, which is 3.14. Your diameter can be found on the wheel's product inside. For our wheels, we have Gogoga Mechano wheels. The, the circumference for these are 12.56. This is the be beginning of your equation. After that, what you will do is you will look at the product insight of your motors for the motor tick count or the encoder ticks. This will be 145.6 for us. You are done with your equation. However, if you are using a gear a gear meshing system to connect your motor to your wheels, you will need to account for the gear ratio. For us, we have a 2 to 1 ratio, so we need to multiply our number by 2, just like so. Now we are done with our calculation. If we put this in a calculator, like so, when we put it in a calculator, we get 40 divided by 12.56. This comes out to be 3.18 and so on. And then after that we multiply by 145.6. And then for us, since we have a 2 to 1 gear ratio, we multiply this number by 2. After here, we have 927.388. So you would want to round to 927 because they can only take integers in the code. As previously stated, 40 is the number of inches we have, we want to go. 12.56 is the circumference of our wheels. Your circumference will be different. To find the circumference, do pi times the diameter of your wheel. Our tick count is 145.6. Again, this is just for our motors. For your motors, look at the product insight. And finally, 2 is for our gear ratio. We want to dive into this a little bit more. So our gears are connected on a 2 to 1 ratio, as seen inside this channel. For you, you may have a 3 to 1 gear ratio. In this case, you will multiply by 3, like shown over here. And if you have a 1 to 2 gear ratio, you will multiply by 1 half, or divide by 2, as shown here. This way, you will be able to get the exact number needed. Thank you everyone for watching our video, and we hope you tune into more videos in the future.